Welcome to the New Around Campus Extended Interview. I'm your host, Jake Winkleman, and this is our extended conversation with MEPM Principal, Mr. Gomez. In this extended clip, you'll, you'll see both me and Mr. Gomez without our masks. And you should know, through the uh, magic of television, Mr. Gomez and I were socially distanced and never had our mask off at the same time. So here it is, the extended cut of Around Campus. Hello and welcome back to another season of Around Campus. I'm your host, Jake Winkleman, and today on Around Campus, we sit down with MEPM Principal, Mr. Gomez. So Mr. Gomez, welcome back to Around Campus. Thanks, Jake. So it's been a while since we've all been here, and I gotta ask, what has it been like to be principal when there are no students in the school? It's actually kind of strange. You're walking through an empty building, um, you hear sounds that you've never heard before. So it, it was kind of weird coming into the building in April, May, and June, but once we got busy with senior activities like graduation, yearbook distribution, cap and gown distribution, and our uh, car parade last year, it, it felt a little bit more like normal. So it was nice to see students, even if they weren't in the school, to see them around the campus. And now that we're fully open, it's a great feeling to see students filling our hallways and classrooms. And what has it been like to see the halls filled, or at least half filled, with people again? Super excited to see students. You know, it's nice that they're happy to be back. I, overall, over the summer, all I kept hearing from students and parents is that they're just dying to get back into school, not, not only to see their friends, but also to see their teachers and to just, you know, get out of their houses because people were getting a little uh, frustrated and bored and they wanted to get back into the building and really get back to normal. How do you feel how the first few days have gone and what successes have you seen after a few days of the hybrid plan? I think overall it's been pretty successful. You know, the first couple of days there were some glitches with technology, but um, I think teachers and students have, have understood what's expected and how they could get around those glitches if they come up. And overall, uh, you know, I keep hearing positive feedback from teachers and our parents are sending, I have a lot of parents emailing me with uh, good feedback as well. So fingers crossed things continue to go as planned. And what are some areas where you might want to make some fixes around the school? Yeah, I think, um, you know, we've got to continue to emphasize to students that they need to walk to the right of the hallway in a single line as much as possible. I know it's hard, I know it's different, but it's something that we have to get used to because of uh, the new protocols that we put into place. Overall, mask compliance has been, you know, pretty, really good uh, as I look in classrooms, as I look in the lunchroom and in the hallways. During dismissal, I just got to remind kids all the time, especially on the back lot, that they have to kind of stand six feet apart or keep their masks on at all times until they leave school grounds altogether. And what do teachers, students, and families at home need to know and need to do to make sure that our reopening is a success? Um, as long as uh, students are doing what's expected, following the protocols, and parents are reinforcing those protocols at home, you know, I think we'll have a successful school year. We just want to make sure that everybody's kept safe, and uh, open lines of communication is uh, pivotal to make that happen. What advice do you have for students for success in this strange, strange year? Got to remain positive and flexible. That's what I told the teachers before we got back to the school year. And uh, flexibility is a big word these, these days. You know, we want to make sure that students understand that what may have worked last year may not necessarily work this year, but we'll find a way around it so that we achieve the same results. Finally, for the seniors, there, are there any plans or thoughts on things we can expect for our final year at MEPL? Well, absolutely. In fact, uh, Ms. Nigro, your senior class advisor, just emailed me. We're coming up with a plan on distributing senior t-shirts probably by next week. We want to uh, get back and see how we design this yearbook, which is a little different than what we've had in the past because we don't have any fall sports or a lot of activities taking place in the, sport, in the fall. And uh, we're going to start planning you know, prom and graduation before you know it come, the, come winter. So a lot of exciting events for the seniors to look forward to. Sounds awesome, Mr. Gomez. Thank you so much. And we here at BNB hope that we can keep things rolling and hopefully before too long, we can all be back together again soon.